Hey everyone, it's Amy from Mother Goose Librarian. Today I wanted to share with you my Caldecott collection. If you're not familiar with what a Caldecott is, it's a Caldecott Medal Award and it is given each year to uh, the most distinguished picture book and it is given for the artwork in the book. So it's not necessarily to the author, but to the illustrator. And obviously we know in some cases the author and the illustrator are the same person. I will share with you the collection that I have. It's quite a big stack, as you could see. Um, not all of them are gold medals. Gold medals are given out once every year, and the silver medals are given out um, every year, but there could be more than one silver medal or an honor winning book. So the first one I'll share with you is called The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. Many of you may be familiar with this, and this is on the top of my stack just because of the fact that it is a middle grade novel of all things. A novel won um, the Caldecott, and that's very unusual, but it won because half of the story is told in the artwork or the illustrations of the text. So I'm not going to tell you the years that each one of these were um, awarded, but um, I will link below a uh, complete list of all the Caldecott winners in, in honor winning books and what year they won the Caldecott medal. And that's usually announced in January, the end of January, the beginning, very beginning of February. And it is considered an American Library Association award given by um, the Youth Media Awards or Association for Library, for, uh, Library Services for Children, ALSC. Uh, the next Caldecott uh, honor winning book I have is Blueberries for Sale. And I'm sure some of you are familiar with some of the um, books that I am, I am sharing today. And some of them you may not have known. Uh, here's an older one, it's The Little Island. Noah's Ark. This, I believe, was the first Caldecott medal, and I can't remember the exact year that it began. It was in the 1930s. I think it was 1938, but I'd have to double check. <clears throat> and this one is called the Glorious Ru the Glorious Flight. Excuse me. My friend Rabbit. Journey Cake Ho, one of my favorite versions of the Gingerbread Man story. The Wave. The next one I have here is an honor winning book and it's called Why the Sun and the Moon Live in the Sky. One Cool Friend great story. If you're not familiar with it, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend all of these books, but especially um, I have, I do have my favorites as I'm sure many of you do. They all saw the cat. One of my very favorites, Stone Soup. I love to tell this story. Time of Wonder, Robert McCloskey. He's in here a couple of times for some award-winning books. This one is great. It's why do you, well, excuse me, what do you do with a tale like that? It's a lot of fun, nonfiction book. Steve Jenkins's artwork is amazing. Lots of fun. This one could be a theme for today, Raindrop Splash, as it has been heavily raining most of the day today. This one is called The Moon Jumpers. Here's another moon book, Many Moons. Again, these are not in any particular order. Oh, actually they are in an order. They're in order of size. I ordered them uh, biggest to the smallest uh, book. And this one is called uh, The House in the Night. Here's a poetry anthology, and this is Red Sings from Treetops. A 
the song and dance man. Set one down there over there. Running out of space here. Steve Frederick. You may be familiar with Leo Leone's um, work. Okay, so the next one is the story of Jumping Mouse. And I wanted to let you know too, in case you're not familiar with how to find out about some of the illustrations and what they were created in, because of course, as I mentioned, the Caldecott Medal is given for the artwork. And if you're curious to know more about what particular um, material or media was used to create the artwork, you can always check inside um, in, the, in the fine print. Oftentimes you'll find what the illustrations were created in or rendered in, different terminology is used and often that that's where you'll find the, um, the type of media that's used to create the artwork. Here's another one. This is another one of my favorites. It's called The Right Word, Roger and his thesaurus. And this has also won some other awards as well as the Caldecott, um, a Caldecott Medal. It has also won um, the Cyber Award. This is a great one, Creepy Carrots. Great for this time of year in the fall or Halloween time if you are one to celebrate. It's not necessarily a Halloween book, but it is It is great to share at this time of year. Here's another, I, I told you to watch for Robert McCloskey. He'd be in here a couple of times. Here's another one of his, the famous Make Way for Ducklings. And his artwork is done in um, pencil drawings. And yet another Robert McCloskey book, One Morning in Maine. And again, some of these you may or may not see the Caldecott sticker um, or award sticker on the book. This particular issue or uh, copy does not have the metal sticker on it. Oftentimes um, I acquire my books before the metal was awarded to the book, so they won't have a metal on them in that case. And the last one is a very tall, a tall uh, tome, <laughs> and it's called Cathedral, The Story of Construction. And this one is quite hefty, a quite hefty nonfiction text as well. And I will share with you the jacket artwork. So that is my collection of Caldecott Medal winning books and honor winning books. I am looking to collect all of the Caldecott Medal winning books, whether they are gold medal or silver medal. So I'm on the lookout and always on the hunt for great Caldecott winning books. Whether it be a bookstore, a used bookstore, a little free library, a gift, wherever it comes from, I am collecting them all. I hope you enjoyed this Caldecott book talk and I will be talking more specifically about some of these books as time goes on. If you have a request to know more about a particular book that maybe I mentioned or that you find linked in the comments below that I don't own a copy of, uh, please let me know. I've read many of the Caldecott books. Um, there are some that I have not yet read uh, simply because they're older books and they might be a little harder to find and get, get a hold of. So I hope you enjoyed this book talk. Like I said, like my video and subscribe to it. If you enjoyed book talks or if you enjoy poetry, I will be sharing lots of poetry, uh, picture books, and some middle grade books as well. Oh, and also Mother Goose Nursery Rhyme books. Have a great day and happy reading.